Hi, happy March. Hello everybody, welcome to or back to my channel. Today we are talking about all of the books that I'm hoping to read in March. So as we usually do here in our monthly resets, I'm gonna go grab all of the books that I'm hoping to read this month. I've got some romance, I've got a lot of fantasy, I have some carryovers from last month, and then of course I have my monthly book club, book club, <laughs> book club picks to go over. But before I go and grab all of the books, I do need to thank the sponsor of today's video, which is Book of the Month. So y'all already know Book of the Month is one of my absolute favorite services I have ever signed up for, and I adore working with them. They are an online book subscription service that sorts through hundreds and hundreds of new releases every single month to bring you the most anticipated and the ones you are most likely to enjoy. I love this because it saves me from doing hours of research on new releases, what's coming out, and they do it in so many different genres that they have you covered in every single aspect. So they come with five to seven different releases and you get to pick which one is your book for that month. And if you just can't stop at one, you do get to have some add-ons for an additional cost, which for me, it is always worth the price because they are so much more affordable than a typical bookstore would be. And you still get those new release adult hardcovers. It's just, you know, you're not paying that expensive on the cover price. So if you guys would like to try them out, you can use my code Olivia as well as the link down below to do so and get your first month with some money off. And definitely let me know if you're already signed up or if you do sign up, which books you picked for this month because I am very excited for the two that I grab. So now, without further ado, let us get into collecting all of the books from around the house and I'll see you guys back here in just a second. Was quite a few picks and what we're gonna do is start off with the book club but I cannot say book club book club <laughs> picks I'm trying not to race through this but I'm not gonna lie to y'all we are under like a severe weather watch storm tornadoes are coming which is why some of this lighting is like not great today but when is ever and listen listen. I feel like I'm about to be Dorothy, okay? So I'm trying to get through this. But also, I say that, but I'm I'm one of those people that like likes to watch those storms. So, it's the Texan in me. Okay. So, let's get started on the book club picks. So, the first one I do not have a copy of yet. I need to go pick one up, so hopefully I will be able to do that tomorrow or this weekend, and that is Legends and Lattes. This is a cozy fantasy. I'm so excited to read this one because I love cozy mysteries. I've loved them for years. I loved them first as TV shows when I was a kid, like, you know, Murder, She Wrote, that good stuff. Exactly. But... I branched out probably at the beginning of 2019 to cozy mysteries and I have loved them ever since. Y'all know I love the Misfortune series, the Finlay Donovan series, but those are set in our world. And now this genre is popping up called cozy fantasy. I feel like it is literally made for me. Fantasy is probably my favorite genre. Cozy is my favorite vibe. There's nothing missing. And this is literally about, a, I think it's an orc who like up and leaves her job and wants to run a coffee shop because no one in this little fantasy town has ever heard of coffee. It's literally me in a fantasy world. I'm just so excited to read it. And then one that I'm so excited and a little intimidated by, this is the March and April pick for Lou Phantasma, which is the book club that I host with my bestie Mel. And we are reading A Day of Fallen Night. I am so beyond excited for this. This Priory was one of my favorite books when I read it. I've read it twice now. One of my favorite fantasies of all time. I absolutely adore it. It has this perfect balance between political intrigue, character development, and relationship development, and then just, I love, per like, purposeful meandering. 
in a book and it has that and I like that oh and it has drag it didn't have as much dragons as I would have liked I can't lie to you so I'm kind of hoping that this one has more but this is meant to serve as a prequel to the first one I don't think it matters truly what order you read them in especially since it's a prequel but I'm very excited to read this I got this copy from Barnes & Noble because I did a come book shopping with me which I posted on Thursday if you haven't checked it out I'll leave it for you down below but I just I needed a copy that I could tab up and write all my annotations in and just really like go to town with it and that is this that is this copy because I also got the broken binding editions which are literally beautiful like they are gonna get their own spotlight in this library I tell you that but this one I wanted to write in and I knew I wouldn't write in those because they're too pretty. I simply can't do that. So then next up I have some carryovers which actually looking at this all the books are like lined up in front of me and um, the majority of them are carryovers now that I'm looking but that's okay because I said so. <laughs> So the first one is Bloodmarked. I just haven't quite finished it yet. I have about 150 pages left, but I figured I'd put it on the TBR so that when I do finish it, technically I did check it off a TBR in the month I said it was on my TBR and it will make me feel better. But this is the sequel to Legendborn and I am enjoying it. I am not enjoying it as much as Legendborn, I can't lie. And I think it's for the typical reasons that people have been pointing out just as far as pacing goes and some of the relationships developing in here. It's just not my favorite, but I still highly recommend Legendborn and I think that this is still a good read. So hopefully I will finish it literally today after I edit this. Like that's, that's the goal. Then I have two more that I'm in the middle of and I am determined to finish this month and we will just keep saying that every month until it's done. But that is Chain of Iron. This one I am... 195 pages into so that's not too bad I mean it doesn't look that far but we won't look at it that way we'll just look at it this way but this is the second book in the latest trilogy by Miss Cassie Clare I am loving it already I knew I would it's the last hours series and this one I started on sprints because Mel and then also Sam if you're watching pressured me I was forced I didn't even want to. It just happened. I don't even know how. I just, you know, I don't, it just happened. <laughs> but I am really liking this. Like I said, I just need to, just need to finish it up. And then hopefully next month I can read the last book because everyone's heart is breaking and I want to know why. Then this one I am very excited for. And I think the thing is, is the next book doesn't come out until September. And I don't like waiting. <laughs> And I really love this author's writing so much and I've always had like more books by her to read. It is The Ballad of Never After by Stephanie Garber. I read the Carval trilogy as it was coming out and then I put off reading Once Upon a Broken Heart because I was like, I don't have any other books. So once I read that, like I'm caught up, you know what I mean? And then this one came out. So I finally read it because I saw that Haley, who I absolutely adore, she read it and was obsessed with it. And I was like, oh my God, we have the same reading taste. Let's do this. And I read it. I, and of course I was obsessed. So then I started reading this and then I got to chapter 22, which is a, a, almost 200. This is my, this is a thing. I get 200 pages into a book and it's a make or break time. And this one, it broke me because I was like, what happens when I finish it? <laughs> and I kept hearing from everybody that the ending is not a good time. And then I have to wait till September, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna read it this month, probably. Hopefully. I will. I'll do it. Right? Then, I think those are all the ones that I'm in the middle of. So here are some more fantasy ones. So I'm carrying this over from last month. This is a River Enchanted. I simply picked this up because someone that I really trust when it comes to their recommendations liked a lot and related it to another book that I can't remember at the time, but I do remember I really like books, so it's here. And I mean, I have the copy from a book box that I'm subscribed to, so might as well read it anyways, but I wanna read it soon. Then I have These Infinite Threads, which is the sequel to This Woven Kingdom by Tahara Mafi. I am currently working my way through the Shatter Me series. I don't know if I'll be reading any more this month or if I'll push that over into April. That's why they're not on this TBR, but 
she is still here with me in some way because I absolutely loved this Woven Kingdom. It was a full five stars. It was such a good book. I will link the video where I read it and then also I'll talk about it in my wrap up next week with you guys. But oh my god, dude, read it. It is so good. And this is, if you're wondering, the Illumicrate edition. At the very end of that first book, a dragon shows up. And now there's a dragon on the cover. And let me say, I don't know. I don't know, will this have more dragons than A Day Like Fall One Night? I don't know. This is the month of the dragon though, for me, in only two books. But still, that's enough. It's not, it's never enough. Then I have the first book in a series that I read a little bit of one time. I liked it a lot and I got distracted. And I feel like genuinely I could just cut that clip and use it for the reasoning for so many books that I have like picked up and put down, even though I was enjoying them. But this one is the first book in the Greenbone Saga. This is Jade City. Say hello, Jade City. Um, it's beautiful. These are the Illumicrate editions and I am very excited to, oh my God, Fonda Lee has such a nice signature. Like it's so clean and professional. Anyways, doesn't matter. This matters. Um, I don't know. Someone said something about Thomas Shelby like character in here and related it to like a fantasy Peaky Blinders. And from the little bit that I read, I could totally see where they were coming from. And I love, oh, I love Peaky Blinders, let me tell you. So I'm excited to read this one. And pretty much every fantasy girl that I follow really enjoys this series. So if I don't, it's on y'all. Then two more carryovers. I have The Righteous by Renee Audier. We've already talked about this. This is the third book in the world that is the beautiful series. Um, I think this one follows a different character though, but that's fine by me. I loved The Beautiful and I loved The Dam too. I know that a lot of people were like, they did not love the trope that was in The Damned. I do. That is the one trope that I know a lot of people don't like that I'm like, mm. but for me though, yes. So I'm excited to get back into that. It's set in New Orleans, it's vampires obviously hello it's like calling my name now and then i have belladonna this is still checked out from my library too on my kindle so it keeps reminding me that i need to read it so i'm gonna try to read it but i again mainly this is always what happens when i haul books i have every intention to read every illumicrate and fairy loot book that i haul because they're mainly fantasy and they are mainly fantasy that i like so i'll read them eventually but how quickly i read them is like kind of the question and um you guys are so helpful because you'll comment below and be like, Olivia, this is a you book, read it right now. And then I do and you're always right. So I had that happen with this. And so I've been putting it like closer and closer to me physically, hoping I would pick it up because of that. That's not how it works, but I'm still trying it. But don't worry to those of y'all that comment every time you're, first of all, love you. But every time that I hold this book up or I show it in B-roll or I show it in a TBR, which is like, uh, this is like the third time maybe. Who's counting? Um, you're always like, you're gonna love it. And I know I trust you. And I don't, I'm being completely serious. I really do trust y'all because every book that I get comments of like, you're going to really enjoy this. I always do. I always do. I don't think it's ever had a time where I didn't. So I just need to get on it, on it. Okay, and then I have some new releases. Uh, some of these are for a video. Some of these are for my soul. The first one is Things We Never Got Over. This is, well, let me hold up the other one too. And The Housemaid. Which booktuber influenced me to pick these up? I'll wait for you to guess. Yes, Sarah. So if y'all don't know, you should absolutely be following Sarah. I'll link her down below too. I'll just link all the girls. And uh, she's influenced me single-handedly to read both of these. And I want to read them both this month. I'm very excited. I think my mom has actually read this one and like really liked it. She said it was crazy. So that's exciting because we also have very similar tastes, especially when it comes to like thrillers. And then I have two romances because with all this fantasy, I'm going to need something. I have the new Tessa Bailey book. And then I also have Behind the Scenes, which is a sapphic romance and there's pugs in it. And you might be asking yourself, is that for real why she bought? That? Yeah, it is. It is. And I think it's a great reason. Also, Tessa Bailey is Tessa Bailey. So Pfft, duh. But now we are going to organize all of these on the little TBR table that I have here, as I always do every month. And I will see you guys back here after that's done.
All right, so everything's organized. We've talked about all of it. I feel very excited for all the reads that are in front of me. And I think I'm gonna go pick up Blood Marks now, finish it off, start March on a good note, and then I might get into a romance. I think that's I think that's the direction we're going. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having an amazing morning, afternoon, or night, wherever you are. Oh, I forgot an emoji. Put Jake, put either like a storm cloud emoji or a dog emoji for this. And for the fact that Jake did not try to fight the mailman a single time during this video. So I don't know, I, I think that's character development. But now back to, back, back to the intro. Okay. Oh no, outro. <laughs> What's going on? Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> I hope you're having an amazing morning, afternoon, night, wherever you are. I'll catch you in the comments down below and in <laughs> next video. Birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life.